Hi. <laughs> I'm Susanna. I'm known as the Date Maven. And the way I know to start is when I get a little ding on my phone that says I'm live. <laughs> so um, again, I'm the Date Maven. And as the Date Maven, I get to work with professional growth-minded singles across North America who are looking for love and social connection. And today, I'm, it's a little low-key. And there, there are two reasons for that. One is it's been cloudy and rainy all week. I'm just done with it. I'm done with the rain. Um, I live and work out of Wichita, Kansas, and I've just, it's been a week of straight rain, and I'm so over it. And the other reason I'm a little low-key today is I'm trying to be kind of quiet because I'm in our brand new advanced learning library in downtown Wichita, which is beautiful. I asked our producer, Chrissy, to kind of do a little pan in, scope in the room at the beginning because it's really a gorgeous facility. But I, I promised them I wouldn't be obnoxious and boisterous and get myself in trouble by distracting the people who are here to do serious things and read books. So um, yeah, again, I, I kind of geek out on books. I'm always reading a handful of books at any given time. It usually takes me a lot longer to get through them that way rather because I don't just focus on one at a time. But that's, that's the way it works. And I've always been an avid reader. And whenever I'm having a situation in life where I'm challenged, I don't know something, I'm struggling to figure something out, uh, my first step has always been to go to the literature. Whether that's books or blogs, maybe even videos, I would kind of consider that content as well. Um, whatever I can find to help give me A's to my Q's, or help me understand why a thing is a certain way. And so now we have Google and all that, but I mean, you know, back in the day, it was me and some encyclopedias, or me and the card catalog in my college library, or just roaming the stacks to see what kind of popped out. So that's, that's how I work, and those authors, I consider them teachers, gurus, mentors, and in some cases, friends, because the, the work has impacted me so much personally, professionally, in all aspects of my life. And I'm gonna come back to that. We'll talk a little bit about that and the importance of having those kinds of sources for guidance and sources for expertise. The third reason I wanted to shoot Flirty Friday from the library today is I think the library is actually a great early stage dating location, maybe even a first date location, if you're someone who, like me, is into books. Because it's going to give you and the guy or the gal or whoever you're hanging out with an opportunity to get to know how they think, um, what has inspired them, what has shaped them, are there certain authors that they just really resonate with. You can walk up and down the stacks, you can quietly flirt a little bit, um, that the quiet part is the hard part because flirting usually gets kind of like giggly and fun and you know so um, as long as you don't get chased out by the librarian I see no reason why the library couldn't be an amazing first or second or third or fourth date as you're getting to know someone and there's even a coffee shop here in our library I don't know if all libraries have this uh, a lot of libraries have audio and video that you can check out some have artwork you can check out. Um, our library has a beautiful rooftop patio, so on a sunny day you could just hang out on the patio. Anyway, I, the library is not paying me to say this. This is, all, this is all my true, genuine love for the library and for books. Um, so welcome to that. Now going back to that idea of having a guide or a teacher. Even those of us who are the guide or the teacher, which I have, I've been in various capacities in my adult life, also have our guides, our teachers. So like it's, learning is this loop and it's this constant. And I was reading this book on Kundalini, which I'm not gonna get into that. If you don't know what that is, just Google it. But there were some really profound points made in this book um, where the author was talking about how our ego minds want to tell us, I don't need a guide. I got this, I got it all figured out, I'm smart, I don't need a teacher. And the ego mind really hates to give up its delusions, especially when we're running stories about how smart we are and how independent we are and how we don't really need anyone. We're like, we, we know it all, right? 
So if you don't have a, a strong teacher or guide who's knowledgeable and um, experienced about w maybe your professional arena, uh, find one. Or if you're trying to get in better shape and lose weight, find one. Or if you are, um, I don't know, working on your own plumbing or something at home, your, your DIYs at home, your garden, your landscape, find one. Similarly, in the world of dating and relationships, that's the service that I provide. That's how I show up for people. I am that guide. And if you have a strong teacher who's knowledgeable about social strategy and human relationships and interpersonal communications and, and kind of all those parts and pieces, then you don't have to exercise as much discrimination about what you study, where you go, what you're doing, who you're doing it with and hanging out with because your guide is going to be there to help provide some of that discrimination. I'm using the word discrimination in a really hopefully meaningful to you way and purposeful way because there is so much out there. I mean, how many of us when we're home at night and we're bored or we have a few minutes to kill, we just like hop on the internet, we watch some YouTube videos or we just start randomly Googling something that we heard about during the day. There's a lot of information that can be coming in and a lot of it we'll never remember, uh, but when we use a mindset of discrimination, and I'm using that in, in a positive and proactive way, not in the negative way, um, then, then I think there's less opportunity for your mind to play tricks on you about like, oh yeah, I tried that, but, or oh, I would do that, but it wouldn't work and here's why, or I'm not that kind of girl or that kind of guy, or that's not gonna be effective for me because, and like all those excuses and self-sabotaging attitudes and beliefs and behaviors, ha having that, I don't like the word guru, that's a little icky, having that guide, having that teacher, um, can also kind of help keep that ego mind in check. You're never giving over your power to the teacher or to the guide. And, you know, whether you choose to work with someone else or work with me, it, it, I'd, I'd rather you have someone than no one, even if it's not me. You're not choosing that person because you find them attractive. Um, you're not choosing that person because they are the best at social media and Facebook Live. You are choosing that person because you find them compassionate, and wise. Let me say that again. Choose a guide or a teacher who you feel is compassionate and wise and then go from there. So when I work with my clients, when I work with you, sometimes I will say, uh, in addition to what we're doing together, have you considered also looking into this resource or exploring that resource? Sometimes there are some underlying things that are a little more complex than what we're going to unpack. And so I'll share with them some recommendations and some referrals for psycho-spiritual wellness, mental health, physical health, because in order to really be, I think, successful at dating and successful at life, having a strong, healthy mind, body, spirit, you know, that's the foundation. So I'll share resources for things like acupuncture and zero balancing, biofeedback, EMDR, brain training, neurofeedback, uh, EFT, which is emotional freedom technique, sometimes hypnosis. I have referred people to different kinds of life coaches, like the coaches that work in the area of business and life work-life balance, coaches that work in the area of sexual relationships, coaches that work with people on just happiness. I've recommended meditation uh, apps, books, um, uh, tools, I have sent people to check out psychics or quantum healing experiences, acupuncture, homeopathy, kinesiology. I mean, I'm, I'm rattling off a lot of um, kind of non-traditional resources, but oftentimes these are the, the stones that have been left unturned. And I want to make sure that I'm not being greedy and like, oh, all your answers lie with me. Like no good guide or teacher is going to say, I have all the answers. I am the ultimate source of truth. So if they say that to you, run. Um, if, if the person I'm working with would benefit from a nutritionist or a psychologist, I will give those resources and referrals as well. Because just as I have said, it's my, my clients are most successful when they're not working out of the ego mind. So am I. That statement is true for me as well. And so um, in service and support and, and wholeheartedness, I have to be willing to 
make those recommendations and those referrals. I myself, I love going to retreat centers. I love going on personal development events. You have to be mindful about the company you keep. Wow, like suddenly it's three o'clock and it's like, I'm blowing up. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna put that aside. Thank you for listening to my, that was a little, little bit of a sermon today, I realize, and I didn't mean it for it to get preachy, but I really wanted to share that because I had been reading some things about how some people who are experts, really their only expertise is maybe just being really chatty on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, and then people will sign up with them to, to do some work and make some changes and, and some transformation in their life and find that, oh, you are a lot better at Insta than you are at making my life profoundly better. So that's why I wanted to share that. If you have thoughts or comments or questions about that, please drop those below. If those questions or comments are of more of a private nature, then email them to me at Susanna at the datemaven.com. S-U-Z as in zebra, A-N-N-A -N -N -A as in apple at the datemaven.com. Email is truly the best way to chat with me because I'm not always able to check those Facebook messages in a very timely manner. I hope everyone has wonderful weekend plans forming. I will be doing another Flirty Friday Facebook Live show at 3 p.m. next Friday. I think next Friday's mobile car tune-up. And we'll be talking about why it's so, so important to keep your car tip-top for dating and your social life. And if you have a suggestion of a business owner who ought to be featured on Flirty Friday, or you yourself are such a business owner and your brand aligns with mine, please reach out and I would love to discuss with you the opportunity for us to support each other and cross promote and collaborate. Don't forget about the author event tomorrow, a good way to stay in the know about events like that and other events that might pertain to singles here in the Wichita, Kansas area and beyond would be to get that blog feed and that's at www.thedatemaven.com. Share it with your friends, have a wonderful Friday and be the sunshine Goodness knows we need it. All right, thanks. Mwah.